In this problem, we're told to find an equation of the tangent to the curve at the given point. So right here, we're given some parametric equations. We're given a point, and what we're trying to do is find uh, the equation of the line tangent to the curve, essentially. So how do we go about doing this? So what you need to know is, or the way we're going to do this is by finding dy dx first. So what dy dx is basically the equation that we can plug in to find the slope. But what is dy dx equal? So if you're given parametric equations, you know dy dx is equal to dy over dt, so dy dt, and over dx dt, right? So essentially the derivative of your y function and then the derivative of dx. So that's what we need to do first. So let's start with dx dt. So the derivative of our x, we know the derivative of sine, we're gonna have to use the chain rule, right? Because it's pi t on the inside. The derivative of sine is uh, cosine, so the cosine of pi t multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is just going to be pi. So it's really just pi pi times the cosine of pi t. Now let's do dy dt. So y is it's going to be t squared, which is just going to be 2t. Derivative of t is just going to be 1. So 2t plus 1, that's going to be dy dt. This is dx dt. Now we can just plug it in. So on top, we're going to have uh, dy dt, which is 2t plus 1 over dx dt, which is pi times the cosine of pi t. Cool. So now we've got it like this. What we need to do is find the slope. And we can find the slope by plugging in the t value. But what t value do we need to plug in? The way you find that is by saying, so notice how we're given these two points, 0 and 2. This is going to be the y value or this is the x value at uh, whatever our t value is, or at this point, and then 2 is going to be the y value. So what I do is just take this, plug it in for x, and you can solve for the t at this point. So plugging in 0, 0 equals the sine of pi t, right? So what value of this is going to make it 0? So my instinct in it is it's just going to be 0, right? Because it might be a different value. It could be, right, because the pi, because uh, like the sine of 2 pi is also 0. But just go with 0 first, right? Because if we plug in 0, sine of 0 is 0. So it can be 0, but it can be others. Let's just choose 0 for now. And then what you want to do is check and make sure 0 is the one for y2. So we know y is going to be 2 whenever it's uh, whatever. And so uh, what we could go ahead and do is go uh, notice, right? Because it's going to be 2 equals t squared plus t. Notice if we plug in 0 for this, it's not going to work. So it actually can't be 0. But what would work for this? Notice if we plug in 1, right? Plug in 1, 1 squared plus 1 is 2. So 1 would work. Would it work for this one, though? Plugging in 1 would just be, make this pi, the sine of pi is 0. So we know 1 does check out. You have to make sure uh, the t checks out for both equations. So really, it's 1 for both of these. So we know t is going to be equal to 1 in this scenario. But just make sure you check both equations because it might be off, right? Because this 0 worked, but it didn't work in here. So just keep that in mind. So now we know what the t is or t is going to be equal to 1. So now what we can do is just plug it in. So uh, plug it in this equation, it's going to give us the slope. So 2 times 1 plus 1 over pi times the cosine of pi times 1. Uh, 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, over 1 times pi is pi. We know the cosine of pi is going to be minus 1. And then minus 1 multiplied by the pi right here is going to just be minus pi. So we have uh, minus 3 over pi. And this right here is your slope. So this is m, right? So this is our slope m. And now what we want to do, since we have m, we can use this equation to solve. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Because notice what we can do is solve for the equation in terms of, y, or in terms of x, right? Uh, but for y, because we have m now. And then what's y1 and x1? Well, this part's easier uh, because they just give it to us, right? They give us a point. So y1 is going to be 2. x1 is going to be our x point, which is 0. So plugging it in, y1 we said is 2 because it's the y value equals m, which is the slope, which we just solved for, minus 3 over pi. And then multiplied by x minus uh, x1, which is 0. So it's just going to be x. So this is just minus 3 pi over or times x. And then we can add 2 to both sides to solve for y. So y equals minus 3 minus 3 pi x plus 2. But yeah, so minus 3 pi x plus 2. Uh, this right here is going to be the equation of the tangent, right, to the curve at this point. So minus 3 pi
pi or minus 3 over pi. Sorry, I've been saying that wrong. Minus 3 over pi times x plus 2. Sorry about that. Uh, just been going too fast. But yeah, so minus 3 over pi x plus 2. This right here is your answer. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this uh, useful.